This morning, smoke is rising over the old steel plant in Mariupol, signaling the Russian assault on the devastated port city is ongoing. The sounds of war after more than 100 women and children were evacuated from the plant in a harrowing operation orchestrated by the United Nations and Red Cross. But 200 civilians, including 20 children, remain trapped inside, and thousands more in the city itself, according to Ukrainian officials. You wake up in the morning and you cry, this woman says. You cry in the evening. I don't know where to go at all. In the east, Russia's progress has been slow and incremental. On the outskirts of war-torn Kharkiv, the Ukrainian military claims to have pushed back Russian forces, while volunteers help the helpless any way they can. This 95-year-old weeps as she says goodbye to her home. I want this Putin to be battered, she says, so he feels what we are going through. In the capital, Kyiv, calls for justice grow even louder. On Monday, Ukraine's prosecutor general named the first suspect accused of murdering civilians in Bucha, a commander of the Russian National Guard. He's suspected of killing four unarmed men and torturing another. 61-year-old Stanislav Honchar says both he and his sons were also kidnapped and tortured by Russian soldiers near Bucha. Do you think there will be justice? They will be punished one day, he says. Justice must take place. They were not invited here. The only way back for them is through hell. No response so far from Russia on those accusations. You can see behind me, Ukrainian officials are now holding a press conference on alleged war crimes. Meanwhile, the United States says it has highly credible intelligence that Russia plans to annex the whole of the Donbass region, Ukraine's industrial heartland, as well as the city of Kherson, which is now being occupied by Russian forces. Hoda. Aaron McLaughlin for us there in Ukraine. Aaron, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.